So we've just come to Sylves Council because um, over the weekend we actually put an, a second offer um, to a property that we really like. Um, we've been the length and breadth of the Algarve and anyway they have finally um, agreed to a price. So we're just, this is Sylves Council, the office is absolutely beautiful. But what we've done, because we don't believe the estate agents, what they tell you, they can sort of fabri fabricate and flower things up. So we've basically gone into the council and asked them what we can and can't do, and also if there's water. And how much the connection is. Yeah. Uh, so the, what they do is they send a technician out, and within seven to 14 days, they'll tell you, if they can connect the property up or not. Yeah. Now, we put down that we will not uh, go through the contract unless there is water confirmed to leading to the property from the municipal. Yeah, the thing is, we haven't signed anything yet. Um, the promissory will be done once we know and There's how water. much the water will cost. And the borehole as well. And we're going to go to the borehole after lunch. But um, we thought we'd let you know because this is really important when you're buying a property in Portugal. Find out your boundary lines, find out your water. Electric is not such a big deal because you can always go yeah. off grid. Find out about your urbanisation on the land, the, yeah. the dimensions and make sure it's correct to the building. And what you can and can't do on the land. Now we've just found out through the council that we can put a simple request to put your yurts on which is just a brilliant thing. And it comes under the same clause of putting a new roof on. Yeah, so we've got a form for that. So it's all all in um, really good stead now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, keep our like, fingers crossed. We just need to know how much the water's going to cost now. And if it can connect. Yeah, I'm sure that we'll do. Mm. Okay. okay. Now, we've just stopped off again for food. We do love our food. And Angela dragged me into a uh, sushi. And the food looks fantastic, freshly made. A bit of wasabi and bon appetit. Bon appetit.